You are in a relationship with this guy, or rather married to this guy, and you are suspecting that they are cheating on you. Right after this episode, you will be more than convicted that they really are. Hello guys, welcome to our channel The Amenius. My name is Harold Amenia. I'm an actor, content creator and brand influencer. On certain occasions, I like to share a few relationship tips that might help you have the best of relationships. So on today's episode, I dare share with you five things or five ways to discover your partner is cheating. Welcome back. Remember to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have a thought to share on this particular content, please feel free to drop it in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to read from you. It's important to add that these signs I'm about to share with you are not exhausting. They might not mean 100% that your partner is cheating, but more than half of the time, if you discover these signs, there is a chance that your partner is cheating or might be considering cheating on you. Now, without much ado, let's delve straight into five signs to discover your partner is cheating. Number one, irritability. You know your partner best, okay? You know your partner better than anybody else because you live with them, you spend a lot of time with them you know you've you know majority of the time you've been in bed with them you know your partner and you know when their moods change you know what leads to a change of, of mood in your partner now you know what takes their boxes pisses them off and so on and so forth after discovering all these things about your partner when you realize that there's an unusual irritability in your partner the chances that he or she might be cheating on you now when you notice an unusual mood change in your partner chances are that he is cheating on you what do i mean by this now when somebody is cheating on you or when somebody begins to drift away from you emotionally you know they find the least things you do very irritable or very annoying so for instance things that prior to they starting to cheat wouldn't have exactly gotten them angry begin to piss them off um let me give you an example if for instance before you know they started embarking on their escapades maybe you left the dishes and wash them later all of a sudden that might start to piss them off um, you wake up and then you don't lay your bed immediately when you wake up you lay your bed when you're going to bed the next time now that all of a sudden might also start to piss them off what i'm just trying to tell you is that when somebody starts cheating on you or, or drifting away from you emotionally and physically what happens is that the least things you do begins to get on their nerves now also you would realize that certain things that they used to ignore before they embarking on their escapades all of a sudden become a matter of importance to them and you begin to realize what is this person up to when your partner or your man is cheating half of the time they get angry over the littlest and the most trivial of things point number two furtive use of communication devices or phones very cunning ways of using their phones you know how your partner uses their phones and depending on once again depending on what type of relationship you're in and the dynamics of it a lot of people have access to their partners when they're on the phone if you're spending time with your partner and he or she receives a phone call half of the time if they don't have anything to hide they will receive their phone calls or reply their messages or whatever just be on their phone in your presence when your partner when your man begins to cheat on you obviously he has every reason to not receive calls in your presence because you know the mind is wired in such a way that when someone is doing something that they tend to find inappropriate they will just do everything possible to hide their actions it's just the way it is i know some people find very sly ways of still going about this in the presence of your partners but trust me majority of the time if they can or if they can avoid receiving or using their gadgets or speaking with this person that they are cheating on in your presence then they are going to do that just realize that if your partner is able to avoid chatting with this newfound love of theirs in your presence they are going to do so so when you decide discover that your partner is beginning to hide and get very uncomfortable using their gadgets around you while speaking to somebody on the other side then you want to question or query why that is the case number three a sudden change in routine or their schedule now if you're dating someone or married to someone chances are that you know their schedule through and through if your partner all of a sudden begins to come up with activities trips you know they begin to fill their calendar and their schedules with all sorts of things that prior to they starting to cheat were not in existence then you might want to pause and ask questions i get it life is very interesting life is very dynamic things happen every single day right but when someone begins to have a change in schedule without necessarily having justification for it they begin to get so busy and usually without having justification for it then you might want to pause a second and ask questions because when people find love the way the heart works is that it just begins to drift them right 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 away so when they find this new love chances are that they are going to begin to fill their schedule with activities with this other person and as much as they are 
schedules might change or their routines might change, if they are not able to have justification for the change in the schedule or the routines, you just might want to take a second and ask questions or observe things a bit more closely and keenly. Number four, a low or an increased desire in sex with you. Some people might say or some people are so sure that once you start cheating or once their partner starts cheating, chances are that they are not going to have or desire them sexually. But guess what? I've heard some people say that the moment they start cheating outside, it gives them the edge or they begin to feel some sort of sympathy towards their partners and they want to even please them more. So it depends. It's neither here nor there. There are certain people who actually get an increased desire for sex with their legit partners when they start cheating outside. So do not think that your partner's desire for you sexually is going to dwindle the moment they start cheating outside. Research has proven that some men actually begin to desire you more sexually when they start cheating outside. And this could be for various reasons. Out of sympathy, out of guilt, you know, just their conscience haunting them could make them want to please you more sexually. So just when you realize that there's a change in their routine and how often that they would please you normally, then you want to pause for a second and observe your partner a bit more closely, all right? Now the last but not least point, number five, is to trust your gut and your intuition all the time. Ladies, that little voice that plays at the back of your head or your mind is almost always right. It's God's way of telling you things. It's God's way of sending signals right down to you. So believe it, okay? Believe it and stop waiting for evidence before believing your guts because like I said, they are almost always right. When you begin to notice a change in your partner, you, you feel it even before you see it. And I'm sure most ladies here can attest to this. When things are not going right, you just feel it. You just know it. Why? Because you know this partner of yours better than everybody else. So when they start changing in attitude or when things begin to go south, you can just feel it. So even before you begin to see all these signs that I have listed earlier, trust me, you already feel it. You already have felt it in your spirit. You've already felt it and you already have heard that little voice telling you that something is not right. When you begin to hear this voice, please take a moment and have a conversation. Just a little disclaimer here. It doesn't mean that when you see these signs, it means at all costs your partner is cheating. But at least when you see one or more of these, you want to take a moment and begin to look at things a bit more carefully. You want to have a conversation with your partner because sooner or later, what you fear might be your reality. So thank you so much for making time to watch this particular episode. I hope it was very, very educative. Now tell me, which of these signs that I listed, all right, was a reality for you? Which of these signs did you notice in your partner who you later discovered was a cheating partner before you actually noticed that they were cheating on you? Feel free to drop it in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to read from you. My name is Harold Amenya and it's been an exciting time coming your way once again. Remember to subscribe and share this video with that friend of yours who is madly in love with this guy. Feel free to get up close and personal with me on my social media platforms at Harold Amenya across all the networks and my wife's handle at I am Mrs. Amenya across all social media platforms. Until the next time, Take care.